last year or so, we've developed, taken the technology and we've, we've expanded on the capability yeah. by yeah. stretching this, if you like, literally making the instruments bigger. Yeah. So to that end, we now have the ability to measure optics on the Luf, on the Luf Scan 600 up to 600 million diameter right. um, and on the 850, as the name suggests, up to 850 yeah. millimetres. Now right. that, that opens up a whole new area specifically. You look at the 600s and the 850s and that moves into space optics, telescopes, yep. um, where they're looking at larger components. Got you. So it's almost like the different sizes of the system are built around their applications almost. Yeah, and what they're yeah. intended to measure. Yeah. Now something that all of the instruments are capable of, which mm -hmm. is a new area of optics, is freeform measurements. Um, yeah. And that's become increasingly important, especially on the larger diameter parts. I see. Um, yeah. For example, just to give you one, and this is, a, I love this example, it's brilliant, but um, some of the, uh, the optics used in the Mars rover landing, um, uh, 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 the Mars rover, mm -hmm. I should say, um, they're actually called off-axis parabolic mirrors. Got okay? Um, and they were actually measured on a LUFA scan. So that technology enabled these off-axis parts. They're not conventional shapes like this. They come into the freeform category, but that enabled the technology to be used in something as advanced as that. So it's a really good Absolutely. example of an application. Yeah. Not a conventional optics, it's a freeform optic, if you like, um, measured on a LUFA scan. So, I mean, other than the obvious benefits of non-contact metrology, I mean, why would you really want a leaf scan system over, say, a, a contact instrument? Okay, again, you've asked quite a few good questions today, uh, Jacob. Thank you for that. Um, accuracy mm -hmm. and reproducibility and repeatability. Yeah. Um, obviously, accuracy goes without saying. Um, optics uh, are challenging optics manufacturing and, and the machining capabilities that are out there. For example, yeah. Press Tech have diamond turning lathes that can cut parts to incredible le levels of accuracy. Mm -hmm. But what's important is to be able to measure those. It's pointless yeah, manufacturing something. And not being able to qualify it as being uh, Absolutely. Accurate. To that end, we, we have achieved measurements down to Lambda over 40 wow. on some of okay. our instruments, which for those of you converting that to numbers, that's 14 nanometers tiny. level. Tiny, yeah, absolutely tiny. Really tiny. One of the other big benefits of the LUFA scan um, and the technology we use on that is the repeatability and the reproducibility. Got you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, accuracy is good, but it's no, there's no value in that if you can't consistently measure a part accurately. So to that end, with our HD systems especially, mm -hmm. where we have the thermal corrections on there, which are dynamic corrections and actually take into account all of the atmospheric changes, yep. the temperature, the air pressure, etc. at any given moment, and they apply that as a correction to the measurement, 